Hello everybody, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make this resin cherry blossom cube which you can see in the bottom right corner. And the first step to doing this is preserving these cherry blossom flowers so they don't rot in the resin. And I made a full video on this and what I did was I picked cherry blossom flowers from my cherry blossom tree and then I dried them in silica gel or silica crystals. And this project was actually my first time using resin. And the first project I made, this came out really foggy. In the last layer, I'm not sure if it wasn't warm enough or if I didn't mix it well or if my ratio was off for the resin, but it didn't turn out well. So even though I filmed this entire process, I decided to do the whole thing over again and then film everything again. So I won't show the videos from here because it's got up, so I'll show the videos from my second time doing this. So for this project, I used Easy for Epoxy and all the products I used, I'll link them down below. I'll put my Amazon link and then you can find all these products. And this resin is a 1 to 1 ratio. So because hours and hours of footage, I think it's best for me to speed up. So in what I'm doing is adding up the resin, then I'm going to add some pink color and some pink glitter and then pour it on the bottom of the cube mold. And make sure your mold is clean before starting. So now what I'm going to do the next layer is that I'm going to add some of And on top, I'm going to throw some glitter on. And I wanted the whole surface area to be covered with glitter, so I just moved it around with a toothpick. Now we're at the most important step of all. I'm going to put a little bit of clear resin. And then I'm going to place the cherry blossom flower in the middle and use a toothpick or something to reposition it. And these cherry blossom flowers are so delicate that it's really difficult to move them without breaking anything off. And because I dry them in silica gel beads or silica gel crystals, I tried to get them off with a brush, but using the brush made the petals fall off. So it was a hard balance between deciding to leave silica gel beads on it or try to brush them off and rest them the flower. Probably best just leave the beads on it instead of putting the petals on the flower. So in this next step, what I did was I have this mixture of pink glitter and resin, and I poured it into here, but I thought it was too much glitter and the flower was really hard to see. So I actually ended up dumping it out. I just put it into another project so I wouldn't waste the resin. But I was left with a thin layer of glitter on the bottom, but that was okay.
So here we are in this cube mold. Here's the side we have a little bit left and I desperately want to add some glitter but I want to be able to see the cherry blossom and I usually end up putting too much. Like for example in this mold it's a little bit too much and last time it ended up too cloudy. This is what happened last time maybe I added too much glitter so I'm gonna have to make it clear. So even though I'm tempted to add some glitter I will make it clear. I think that's the way to go. And I should have enough resin here. Hopefully I don't get too many bubbles. So let's pour this and see how it looks. It's looking kind of bubbly right now. But let's see and then I'll, I might use the torch. This is 7 times speed by the way of me pouring the clear resin. up of the cube I think this is fine I smell something burning of course so I was like let me not use the torch too much I could live with this many bubbles I could see the flower pretty clearly so I'll just have to keep on checking on this making sure we don't get too many bubbles it's 2 35 p.m. now So I just took this out of the freezer. It is now 6 p.m. So this was in there for at least six hours. Let me just wipe the top. Super satisfying. And now let me see if I can get this out. I'll save you some struggling by speeding this up. The worst case scenario would be cutting the mold, but I don't think that's necessary. I just need to figure out how to get this out. There we go, sliding, sliding. Come on, we're almost there. Almost there for the grand reveal. Almost. Wow. This is so nice. Look at this, it's, right now it's a little bit hard to tell because of, it's kind of foggy, but it looks really nice. It is really clear, so I'm super glad about that. There are no, I don't really see any broken pieces like I had in the other one. It's mostly smooth, the corners seem fine, the top seems okay, and this is just amazing. So I'll just wait. It's pretty, it's really hot outside. It's like maybe 90 today. So I'm sure this will be gone soon. And then I'll show it up close outside. So I am outside now. You could hear the birds, I'm sure. Exci they're all excited to see this. Let me turn it around. Let me just set my camera here.
I wish there was a way to make the flower open up more. It's a little bit flat. Like if I did this again in the future, given how much work this is, I don't know if I will, but I am really happy with how it turned out. And I'm really happy that I don't see any like major bubbles. There are a few small ones, but they're not like too noticeable. So everything looks pretty good. I like the combination of the pink glitter on the bottom and then the silver flakes and then the cherry blossom on top. I'm glad I didn't I did this clear so I could see the cherry blossom perfectly. And I'm glad I added some pink glitter on the flower. Let me know what you think of it in the comments down below. And if you try this out, please let me know. I want to know how it turned out. And also I should give a disclaimer that this is like my first or second time. So you should also check out other tutorials and view my video as a test and not a tutorial and of course you could also see the video where i showed how to dry the cherry blossom flowers i'll be staring at this quite a bit Look, a fly also came to check it out. Or it was trying to bite my arm. But anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed making this with me. So look at how incredible this looks. I know it's not perfect, but it is really nice. I'm really happy with how it turned out. My first try is over here, and this is nice, but it is too foggy. And I probably added too much glitter. It is difficult to see the cherry blossom, especially in the top layer. So I redid the entire thing, and you could see the difference. This one is much more clearer. So I didn't add glitter on the highest layer. I added it, was my focus off, but I added glitter over here, and of course on the bottom layer, and I kind of wish I didn't do this layer. There is glitter there, but you can't really see it. So anyways, let's look at this one more time. And the way the light refracts or reflects on this, it kind of looks like there are two cherry blossoms in here when viewing it from a certain angle, which I think is pretty cool. For example, like this. When my sister came and saw it, she's like, do you have two cherry blossoms in there? And I was like, no, it's just one. It's just how it looks. So let me know if you like this video and if you want to try this out in real life. And let me know how it goes. And thanks for watching and have a great day.